Hi everyone, thank you for watching. A big thank you to all my Instagram supporters that followed me onto YouTube. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing my videos. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of July 2018. Okay, already getting started. Ask for help from others, Gemini. What is it that you're trying to do all by yourself? You need to wait. Wait on something or someone. Wait on making a big decision. Whatever it may be, make sure you speak to the right people. Come to a peaceful resolution before moving forward on that. Earth signs got the wait card. Earth sign readings were pretty crazy. But you will come into some success in the near future. Okay, Gemini, let's see what you have going on for the month of July 2018. What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising have for the month of July 2018? Two cards, please. Ask your angels. You're ready. Okay, let's see. Gemini, what is it that you're trying to do? Big life changes, a new relationship, a new job. Is it time to seek the guidance of your angels? Is it, is it, are you ready to meditate, go for a hike, go for a walk, start thinking about the changes you want to make in your life? Do you feel as though you're ready or you need to make more time? Take more time, I should say. About your financial stability. Every time I do readings for Geminides, there's always something involved with finances. You're afraid that you're not ready for a stable financial future in a partnership. The Queen of Pentacles is that nurturing mother, financially stable. She's able to move forward because she has made those decisions logically with finances in mind. She makes every penny count. She knows how to move forward. Are you feeling as though you need to take on that personality or is there some sort of partnership with someone in that personality that you're thinking of? Way too many cards fell out, but I will show them to you. So you feel the need to take control of your life or is this a new partnership, a new boss perhaps? The Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Seven Chariot card. So we've got Six, Seven, and Eight. There is a need for equal give and take. There is a need for balance. Giving and receiving. Are you receiving more than you're giving or vice versa? Someone here feels as though they've given a whole lot more than you're giving back and causing an imbalance. It is important that before you move forward, you communicate clearly, take back control of your life. Because I do feel that there is a sense of imbalance. You have taken some time for yourself, or perhaps it is time to take time for yourself. Take a break, really think about, I was just going to say, really think about these three swords that have already broken your heart and how you're going to move forward with that fourth sword. Have you caused someone some disappointment or have they caused you? Is there a particular situation that has caused you heartache and disappointment that you just don't know how to move forward from that got you into this Four of Swords? And it does feel as though it does have to do with a partnership. You've been unsure about whether or not to take this new step in your life. You know that by taking this new step in your life, you're taking a leap of faith and you're just, you're, you don't feel comfortable with the unknown. That is what scares you. You're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of what if this doesn't work out? Gemini, what if it does? What if it does? Your plans to move forward slowly are going slower than ever. 
you can manifest the future that you want. You have all the tools right there. You have two threes. You are thinking about your financial future as well as a partnership, whether in love or business. Although taking a risk, starting something new, a new chapter in your life, scares the bejesus out of you like it scares you it freaks you out you are so afraid of the unknown if you've been consulting an earth sign for answers because i see earth virgo this is also earth sign taurus virgo capricorn a lot of yellows and blues there's a lot that you need to heal from but there's a lot of optimism as well there are chances here for a new beginning in moving forward with a new partnership. Taking a break to heal from what has already happened. With the Sun card, it speaks of warmth, of vibrancy, of exuberance and optimism. Look at that. With that Fool card, you wish that you had it in you to just say, fuck it and jump but you're very fearful. You'd rather continue moving slowly because to you, that's the safest thing to do. The most important thing for you is to feel safe and secure in any situation. I'm not saying that's the wrong way, but I'm saying that you get so zoned into that, that everything else falls to the wayside. Take the time to figure out, find the answers within because you already have those answers. And here is your card, Gemini. If this is about a soulmate relationship, we have the lovers and the two of cups. This is a very strong magnetic attraction to someone. But you're afraid to move forward with them. You know you want to. It's probably something that you've thought about for so long. I keep getting like the same reading for Gemini every single time on my Instagram. Those of you from my Instagram that are watching this now, I get the same reading for you guys every time. It's this fear of moving forward, although it, your future looks very promising. You have a lot of majors here, which means July is a very important month for you. Big, big changes. There is a need for healing. There is a need to put down this disappointment. Let it go. Move forward in a much more balanced way. Know that the work that you've put in already is enough to create the future that you want. I know you want to move slowly. I know that it's like the safest thing that you could possibly do. but you don't want to end up crying over spilled milk because you waited too long to move forward. With the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords, here it is. Cards are calling you out, Gemini. Look, the Knight of Wands is about that wishy-washy energy. Where the page may be all talk, no action, the Knight of Wands does have action behind their words, but guess what? The minute they get to exactly what they've been saying they want, they run away. It's like you're this close. You are so close to your goal before you move on to the next chapter of your life. And then all of a sudden you turn into this Knight of Pentacles who says, wait a minute, let's take the slow approach. And that means you are walking away from those goals that you've set in a less than honorable way because now you've gone away from your word. If you've told a partner, when I get this job, we're gonna get married and move forward. When we buy our house, when I graduate college, when I get this promotion, when I make a minimum of 80,000 a year, we can get married and move forward and start a life, start a life. And then you're this close. You're in your last semester at school you're in that last interview for a promotion. 
and then you get scared and run away knowing that if you screw up that very last step to get to where you wanted you're moving away in less than honorable ways you've just gone against what it is that you said that you wanted to do you hurt yourself and you hurt others when you do that because this is about moving forward but just be careful when you behave this way with the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Because the person that is moving forward onto bigger and better might not be you. Might be the other person, the other person leaving you behind. Because how many times do they have to go through this cycle with you? Where they're probably like such a supportive partner, such a supportive boss. And just like you can't understand what more needs to happen before you progress in your life. The sun card is here. What are you overthinking, Gemini? You've gotten the sun card more than once in my readings on Instagram. You have. You have a promising future ahead of you. If only you weren't so afraid of gaining it. If you have an air sign that's upset at you for causing this or creating this, I can't say that I blame them. You know that you need to start again, start something new, the rebirth card. Maybe they're upset and maybe they lash out at you. Because they've already gone through this one too many times that they don't want to tell you, but they do feel like giving up. They feel like giving up and giving birth to a new version of themselves because that new version of both of you together in couple, relationship, love, partnership, business, they see your full potential. They see your full potential. They recognize your worth but you're afraid of what you really are capable of doing. And so you go from this Knight of Pentacles that's going really slow, inching away, and they turn into, or you turn into, this Page of Pentacles, who, upon going back and retreating, it's like that little turtle that sticks his head back into his shell, turns into the page instead of going back as being the Knight. Because the page is about ideas and offerings and creative new ideas. The knight, they've taken those ideas and they've gotten on their horse and they know they need to move forward. They're not moving forward quickly. They're still in contemplation mode, but they're on a horse. They are looking onto the horizon. They know the next steps they need to take. And whether it's you feeling emotional or the person that you're dealing with is all in their feelings. You may be dealing with a water sign. Again, with the earth sign. Every time I do a reading for Gemini, tons of earth, tons of pentacles. Whether you have heavy earth placements in your chart or you're mostly, you're mostly thinking about money and finances and the material things in life over the emotions of your life. Would you rather feel financially happy over emotionally happy? Definitely. I feel that you probably think that the minute you gain your financial freedom is when you'll be able to feel those emotions that you've been wanting to feel. But you shove them down so deep because emotions and feelings, they complicate things. And although you think you are moving forward on the right path, when you don't acknowledge these feelings, look at that. I get that for you all the freaking time, Gemini. It's like you want to be, look at that. You go from the knight to the page to the king. Mind you, the queen was already down here. You've got a whole family of pentacles here. If you're carrying 
that poverty mentality from your childhood that I need to make sure I have enough money before I move forward. You're doing an injustice to yourself. You have programmed yourself to thinking and feeling as though what you have isn't enough. Gemini, are you enough? Really go within. Really go within and decide. Are you enough after everything? So many pentacles here. You want to be this strong businessman who's got their finances in order that doesn't have to think twice about, you know, what their material world looks like. Financial freedom, that's all they think about. But they can't even think about this soulmate energy that they have with someone else because they feel as though it's not enough. I've got too much shit that's weighing on me from my past. This poverty mentality. Let it go, Gemini. You will find your financial freedom when you find the freedom in healing. When you have healed from your past and everything that you're carrying with you is when you can finally start enjoying these pentacles. Okay, Gemini. It's time to do the healing work. Enjoy your pentacles instead of holding on to them. Enjoy your family, your friends, your partnerships. Live in the now, not in the past. You're replaying too many things from your past, Gemini. Gemini, it is time for you to heal and clear yourself from all of that. That was your reading for the month of July 2018. Please like, share, and subscribe. Email me for a personal reading. You'll find my information in the description box below. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I'd love to have you there. I post daily and I do weekly live readings. So I hope this resonates, Gemini. Have a good month. Bye.